Hey, Val. Hey, Stacey. So once again, we are not doing a listing review. Instead, on this episode of Better Your b and I'm going to ask you a question and have you okay. help us. Okay. I'm excited. So you always hear me say, you know, I'm not a professional designer. Because my best obvious, stop saying that. I know. I know. I feel like I may be getting better, but not really. <laughs> yeah. Um, but obviously you have a degree in interior design. Mm -hmm. I am curious if you could share with us three interior design mistakes that you see people making. I think the first mistake is probably, it's not like a little quippy one, but it's that people aren't thinking about everything holistically. So they're not thinking about the room as a whole and designing everything from the outset with a vision in mind. Instead, they're thinking about everything in a macro, a micro scale, instead of a macro scale, like a micro scale. So we're thinking about like the throw pillows and we're thinking about um, the decor and maybe the rug and all of these things separately. When in fact, you should be thinking about all of these things and, and one at one time at the outset of before you get that property up and going, what is the vision? So not doing that, I think is the mistake. Okay. The mistake. Okay. Okay. Well, I think the second one I would say is not thinking about the lighting enough, not thinking about, you know, making sure you have ambient lighting and it, which is kind of the general lighting. And then you also have atmospheric lighting, which is what's more at eye level, the lamps, making sure that somebody can control that environment by way. And it could, that's just, what I'm saying is just put some lamps in there. That's the simplest way to solve that problem. Don't just let it be a really harsh ceiling fan with interrogation sized bulbs temperature. <laughs> like, you know, like really, really, really bright. What if really, it's really on a dimmer though? What if it's on a dimmer? Dimmers are great. Still have a lamp or two. In every yeah. room? I say yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise it feels like um, a dorm room. Like it just doesn't feel as comfortable and cozy. I would say the third one, I would say the third one is not taking into account the durability of materials, which is really easy trap to fall into with rentals because you have, you know, you have a lot of things to purchase in the beginning and you want to minimize what you have to put in, but not buying quality where there needs to be quality, like those workhorse items, the sofa, things that are sat on the mattresses the bedding, that stuff that is going to be washed and worn and sat on and walked on needs to be of the higher quality. So don't be duped into going cheaper on that stuff. Um, think about the quality and durability of your sofa fabric. Is it scrubbable? Is it performance grade? Things like that. Yeah, Love really that. important for a rental. Love that. Thanks, Val. Hey, you're welcome, Stacy. Well, thanks for watching. I, I hope this was somewhat helpful. Short little, short little quippy interior points and make sure to like this video if you liked it. Also, be sure to subscribe to get all the upcoming content from Stacey and I. And be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss anything coming down the pike.